Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today for another exciting episode. Today, we will be doing the setup of our brand new iPad Pro. Yesterday, we did the unboxing of the 2020 iPad Pro. And as promised today, we are gonna continue with the setup. So we'll be doing the setup of the iPad Pro and we're gonna try to connect a Bluetooth mouse into it. As you know, with the uh, iOS uh, 14.3 or 15.4, we uh, have the ability now to to, to turn this iPad into a computer. That being said, let's try to uh, set this iPad uh, Pro up for the first time. So to turn on this iPad, you obviously need to press the power button that is on top here. There we go. So we're gonna uh, press that button, hold it for a few seconds. We're gonna wait for a few seconds. There we go. So you're gonna be presented with this page um, asking you to select your language. Um, let's go with uh, English. Then you have to select your country origin. So uh, I'm currently in Canada. So I'm gonna go with Canada. If you have another iPad or a phone, you can bring it next to it. And then so you can directly uh, transfer everything from your old uh, iPad or old iPhone to your new um, iPad Pro. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to do a fresh start. This way is very the, the easy way. If you bring um, your iPad or your iPad device, it's going to synchronize and you'll be able to transfer everything from one iPad or one device to the other which is very fast and you don't have to go through the whole process. But now I want to show you, let's say you don't have any iPhone or any iPad and this is your first ever Apple product. So this is how you're gonna do it. So we're gonna press setup manually. And again, here you is gonna ask you to, um, to choose a network. So you will have to choose your wireless name. In this case, mine is Maxi Limit. I'm gonna set it up, maxi limit. Now it's asking me to put the password. So once your password is entered, you have to go to join. And then uh, it's, not, it's not supposed to take too much time. And as you can see, we have a check mark. That means that uh, the iPad has successfully connected to the my wireless uh, connection. Then I'm gonna go ahead and press next. Um, then uh, once it's next, it's gonna take a few more minutes to activate your iPad. For the sake of this video, we are gonna accept it so we can go continue. And then it's asking us to, uh, um, well, use your Face ID. So you can either accept to go with the Face ID. It's very, very simple. You just have to press continue. And then uh, uh, you have to lift, you can press start then, and then you have to lift the iPad up and then it's gonna, see your face in detected. It's very easy, you just have to turn your head a couple of times and then that's set up. And then also after that you are required to put a password. Now you don't have to put a password, but this if this is your iPad, your personal iPad, it's always good to, uh, to keep your information confidential. You can either choose uh, customize, so like you can use like any letters and numbers that you want, any and it's like anything you want, right? It's not only gonna be a numerical code, so you can type in whatever you want, you can put your name, etc. Or you can uh, customize numeric code, or you can just use four digit uh, code. Um, for more security reasons, it's always good to use the most difficult password, something that you can remember easily, but difficult for others to guess. Um, and that being said, it's always good to use at least minimum six characters or if you want, you can use a mix of characters and numbers. And then this screen is going to ask you to either restore, uh, restore your um, data from iCloud, uh, sorry, iCloud. First, you have to back it up because if you don't, it's, there's nothing going to find on the iCloud to back it up for you. Or you can set this, you can set this, uh, iPad as a new device, so it simply mean that you will start from fresh. All your data uh, from your other device will not be transferred to the new iPad. 
Okay, again, for this video, we are going to be choosing the um, don't transfer my data. We're going to go next. So again, uh, to use an iPad or to download application, obviously you need an Apple ID. So uh, if you are new with the Apple ecosystem, you need to create one, it's very simple. If you already have one, what you need to do is simply put your email address and then, I mean, not, I shouldn't be saying email address, your Apple ID. And uh, you just gonna press next. So in this case, I'm going to uh, put my uh, credentials in. And again, uh, terms and conditions. So this, you can agree or disagree, but keep in mind that if you disagree, then you cannot use this iPad. So your only option is to agree. So we go to agree. And then uh, keep your um, iPad up to date. So this uh, page, basically, whenever we have any uh, operating system update, like uh, iOS update or, or whatever operating system we are using on this iPad right now, if we can use to update it automatically. So whenever Apple pushes up any updates in the night, if your iPad is connected, it's gonna be automatically uh, downloading the application and install it for you. You can ask to do it manually. So you have install at the bottom, install updates manually, or you can continue. It's always good to leave it on. Some people prefer to have control over how uh, updates are done, but for me, I always leave it on. So whenever there's any update, you can just update it. Because you know, updates uh, brings in more security for your for your device, right? Uh, some more improvements and all that, right? So it's always good to keep your uh, iPad up to date. So we're gonna keep continue. And then it's asking you for location services. Now, if you use GPS or weather, you know, those kind of things, you don't want to always keep in. You don't want to always, because whenever you, let's say you want to use your GPS or weather, if you don't have your location services on, it's not gonna be able to find where you are. So we are gonna enable that. And Siri, everybody knows Siri by now, right? So uh, we're gonna keep Siri on. So for Siri to be able to work, we need to uh, say something so he can recognize our voice, right? Hey Siri, play some music. All right, that's pretty much it. So I will go next. All right, uh, screen time. So basically this is gonna track how you use your iPad and all that. All right, you can um, track that or not. I don't mind, I will do it, I will continue. And then iPad analytics. So basically, uh, this will analyze your iPad and see if any hiccups or any problem you can share with Apple so they can improve the service. But if I don't want that, so I'm not gonna say don't share. You're gonna uh, continue with using that. And then uh, we have dark mode. On the phone, it's very, very good because it saves batteries lives and all that. It's also not too hard on your eyes, right? But um, on iPad, you can also use it if you want to save battery life and then save your eyes, right? But let's continue with dark mode. And then uh, gives you some information about how to go home and then quick access to the dock. So basically you can go through this and see how the iPad works. And then uh, again, switch between apps and then all that. You, you all know that. And then it comes to this page says, welcome to iPad. And you get started, you have to swipe up. And we are in the iPad. So as a promise, we are gonna be um, connecting the uh, this mouse. It is a um, it is a Dell mouse. It is a Bluetooth, and um, you can connect it via Bluetooth, or you can use the um, you can use the, uh, the the USB thing to put in your computer to connect it that way. It takes two batteries, and uh, this is just like I said, it's Dell, right? It's not something from Apple. Okay, uh, this particular uh, mouse is easy to, to connect. First, to connect any uh, Bluetooth device to any uh, any other device, you need to activate the Bluetooth on your device. So we are gonna go to settings and uh, go to uh, Bluetooth. It's already on. Perfect. And to activate the Bluetooth on this mouse, this is this particular mouse, just need to press this button here. So we have 
the number one is just when we use the USB. Number two, you see it has a Bluetooth sign on it. So you can connect up to three, up to two Bluetooth. So we have one, uh, which is for the uh, regular USB. You have to plug that stick, I'll show you on the computer. And number two is the Bluetooth. So you can leave it on like this. All right, so as you can see now, it kind of uh, find it. We're gonna go pair. And once uh, it's paired, it's gonna say connected. And then you can see that the mouse now is active, which is great. So when you come on top here, it's very easy. You can click it and then you can decide to either, um, you see, it's very, very easy now. You can use this uh, computer as, uh, I mean, you can use this as, as, as if you were on the computer, right? You can use the mouse and then work. It is a very, very, very good. You can click setting, you just have to click as if you were on the computer. You can use this, you see. To go back home, you just have to press the uh, this line, come home. Uh, left click on the home screen does not do anything. My left click on the menu brings up the uh, like a long press. I see if you were long pressing hold on the uh, on the iPad, and then uh, that is pretty much right. So uh, perfect. Now uh, in this video we covered uh, how to set up your um, your iPad and how to connect a um, a mouse. On the next uh, video, we are gonna be putting this um, iPad to the test. We're gonna do some ben benchmark and see how it performs. And we are gonna be doing a comparison between the uh, 2019 iPad Pro and the 2020 iPad Pro. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Maxim the Mix.